How's it going everyone? Really quickly, this is how to have particles follow a curve guide inside of Blender. First, what you'll need is a particle system, so go ahead and do that, customize it to your liking. Go into Shift A, hit Curve, you can add strange attractors via the user preferences in the add-ons tab, and then you have a bunch more options. You can just select one of these, this one looks kind of cool. I'm going to scale it down a little bit, and then I'm going to go into Force Field, and instead of changing it to Curve or anything like that, leave it as Force, change your shape from Point to Curve, then increase your strength in a negative value, Flow adjusts the rate at which it holds to that line, and then hit Play. And just like that, your particles will now follow that curve. Depending on where you position your spawn, it'll adjust those kind of settings. You can go in and adjust the lifetime and all that good stuff. But you can just go back into here and start adjusting noise, your flow strength. So if, as you can see, whenever I increase our flow strength, it follows way closer to the original line. Makes everything look all nice and neat. And then you can increase the speed by increasing this negative strength value. You can make it super slow or super fast. Just, you know, whatever fits your personal preference. Um, you can go into your particles tab and go in down to here, add a custom texture. Go in, down, change it to strand particle, update your influence and change it to either density or size, something like that. So that way it can have... A little bit of a unique appearance whenever it starts to spawn in so that way it's not just one giant clump also eevee motion blur sucks anyways that's it have fun